You're looking at the inner harbor of Victoria on Vancouver Island. Hello everybody and welcome to Motoring 89. Now we are here on the invitation of Subaru of Canada. And let me tell you, this invitation was so intriguing, we just had to come out here and find out what it was all about. Well, that was almost 33 years ago when we here on Motoring TV first met Subaru Canada. The big launch at that time was the 1989 Legacy sedan and wagon. That's what I've always loved about Subaru. They've kept their wagons. I know some people like to call them SUVs, but I'll leave that moniker to the Ascent. Now, they were a pretty niche player back then. They still are today. Their market share in Canada is just over 3%, so they're not playing with the big boys, but that market share has doubled over the last 10 years. And let's face it, the best seller for Subaru is the Crosstrek and it's attracting a younger buyer. What are we doing this week? We're checking out the new Outback. Well, I shouldn't call it an Outback. It's the rugged version wagon for Subaru. This is more of an alternative. It's called the Wilderness and Subaru says it's really rugged. So much so they're telling me we're going off roading. All the cars like this, the Wilderness, the Wild Track, the Badlands, so many cars have names like this or trims like this, and they're all kind of tapping into this same trend. It's the same reason you're seeing guys walking around the city in like mountain equipment co-op puffy jackets and North Face jackets and all that stuff. It's just like trendy. Everyone wants to look rugged and tough and outdoorsy. And I think, you know, in this last year, especially you've seen an explosion of that trend even beyond what it was. You know, everybody is stuck home and you're camping locally. More people are kind of discovering the outdoors, and this fits right on trend. The Wilderness has a bit more ground clearance than its sibling, and of course it's got added skid plates for protection when off-roading if you're so inclined. The interior is all outback with the Wilderness badge everywhere in case you forget. Touchscreen with thankfully radio volume and tuning controls. It has heated steering wheel along with heated front and back seats. It also has a front view camera, which is good not only at intersections, but especially when you're off-roading. It comes with a CVT transmission, but with paddles to give you at least the feel of manual shifting. And that is not a racing stripe on the hood, but rather it serves to reduce glare. The Outback has always been a weird kind of car. Some people see a station wagon, other people see uh, an SUV. And what makes it unique is that it's kind of bucked the trend towards SUVs. More than three quarters of the new vehicles sold in this country are SUVs now. And the Outback hasn't really fallen victim to a sales decline like most cars have. It's sustained its sales and I heard from the Subaru people that it's actually been selling increasingly well. So it is an SUV, it is a station wagon, but people like it because it's maybe neither, maybe both, something in between. It's different. Under the hood, a 2.4 liter four cylinder turbo boxer engine, 260 horsepower, 277 pound feet of torque. It does run on regular fuel and it has a 3,500 pound towing capacity. So these things took a beating today and I was actually pretty impressed by, by what this thing climbed up. I did not expect it to be that capable for sure. This is a $41,000 vehicle, so I. I don't have that kind of money, so I, you know, I don't know that many young people who, who can spend $41,000 plus options, plus that roof tent cost you another two grand um, on a car like this. But you know, every car maker just says that. They're all trying to get a younger crowd, whether they do or not. Yeah, we'll see. Bottom line on the new Outback Wilderness, well, as you know, I've admitted this before, I'm not an off-roading kind of guy. I think the almighty invented asphalt for a very good reason. However, it was very good, acted like a pro on the off-roading course. But for me, what really surprised me is even with those all-terrain tires was the drive on road. Quiet, handled the curves like a champ, and that CVT transmission, I have no complaints. And I really like the looks, the blue color and those 17 inch matte black wheels. But I will say this about this new Outback. It's a good car. It's gonna be a new star in the Subaru showroom. And I think you'll see more Subarus, not only on the highways, but also out in the wilderness.
So here's the question, where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.